As far as practice changing impact, I would say one of the ones is on Philadelphia Positive ALL, uh, where the MD Anderson group presented on uh, combination of hyper CVAD and ponatinib. Um, they provided, uh, th this data has been presented previously, but they also provided a more recent updated data, which continues to show that this combination has much better uh, response rates, uh, as well as uh, what the word we use is MMR, and actually able to avoid the role of stem cell transplantation for this subgroup of so-called high-risk disease, uh, typically prior to the tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Patients with uh, pH positive ALL were always uh, recommended to have an allogenic transplant because that was the only way you could cure it. But now with the addition of TKIs, we have seen improved responses and cures without transplant. And it appears that patients who actually get panatinib with hyper CVAD and they go on to have transplant, the group that has transplant actually has a worse prognosis than people who continue on panatinib without transplant, a subgroup. Uh, so that I think is a very important study.